Hello, uh, Tony Walker here. Thought I'd give you a 2016 EDC update. Uh, when you look back at the previous videos, um, there was a, a pretty old video uploaded on my, my EDC. And when you look at that video, it would be a um, different key setup, different pin, different wallet, different knife, different flashlight, um, but same same Bible out of out of the last few years. This is the one thing that has remained constant. So we'll start with it. Uh, Cambridge Pocket New Testament. Um, you can kind of see right there. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, cold weather here taking its toll on me. Um, you can kind of see the way the leather has, has worn. Um, but the, the front of it has held up well. The back has held up well. You can see along the page edges that is starting to show somewhere. But all in all, um, it is, it's a little Bible that is made with the same care and quality as the larger size Bibles and, and not just put together cheaply. Um, and, and you can tell because it's lasted. Sadly, they discontinued these a good little while ago. Um, but you know, if you ever happen to come across these, it, it will be a, a, a good thing to get because it, it'll probably last, you know, your lifetime. Um, and it's always good to have a little pocket Bible with you. Um, so that's that. It has stayed the same. Um, the other item would be the flashlight. And the way I would uh, wear it in my uh, pants, I would stick this in my pocket with the clip on the, uh, you know, pocket. And I put my Bible in this way so that this doesn't scrape the pages. Well, what it does, it rests up against the back of the leather here. And so over the last little while, you can see why, you know, why it's showing, you know, its age. Uh, we'll get back to the light in a moment. I want to point out a few things about it. Um, uh, Benchmade uh, Griptilian, uh, full size. Um, oh, well, that's the, the blade. Um, see the pocket clip is showing a little bit of wear. This goes on my right pocket clip on the outside. Um, this little string added to it. But, uh, but that's the knife I've settled on. I've had a... Uh, this one and one other one to see which one I liked and the other one uh, I sold it and just used this one now so down to one knife and one flashlight that goes against the two is one one is none philosophy um but so far it's, it's been there for me Maxpedition uh, I believe they call this the micro wallet I've got a video up about these wallets as well I'm not going to pull all my cards out obviously um not that there'd be, you know, millions of dollars for you to steal, but in this window where you see the, the Five Guys hamburger gift card, cheeseburger gift card, um, this is where, you know, you'd put maybe a driver's license or something that you can see through. It's got the um, the plastic right there. Real visible, doesn't distort the image, so, you know, they can see the numbers if they need to see them. Um, there's a single card slot right there, and that's where I put my bank card. And then there's room in the back for uh, some more cards. So I have one card in here, three cards in here, and then a few cards uh, behind that window. This side has nothing, uh, but in this outside pocket is uh, something that I want to get to, you know, real quickly. I can pull my wallet out of my front pocket and uh, and pull out these cards and give one to some to someone. And these are the uh, cards that that I have where have them on this side uh, is blank so I can leave somebody a note if they're not at home and in this side have a Bible verse for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life for God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved and then the the back the back uh, of the card a cross right there and then on the back focal point the cross with the, the simplest definition of the gospel that there is. Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. And that he was buried. And that he rose again the third day. Christ died for our sins, was buried, and rose again from the dead. All according to the scriptures. That That's the gospel. If anybody tells you the gospel is Jesus plus this, Jesus plus that... Jesus plus their church, Jesus plus their denomination, Jesus plus religion, Jesus plus tithes, Jesus plus offerings, Jesus plus anything from A to Z. Um, 
The Bible says that we are saved by grace through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is a gift of God. It is the gift of, excuse me, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. So um, that's my little my little gospel uh, gospel slot, money slot, ID slot. So that that's held up well. Excuse me, forgive the sniffling and the sneezing. Um, this is a pen, um, obviously. Uh, I've got a video up about this. Got this for a good deal for 12 bucks. Obviously a lot cheaper than what you would get it from the uh, what Surefire wants to sell it for to you for. Uh, but 12 bucks, I wasn't going to pass that up. It's got a window breaker on the end. Thankfully, I've never been trapped in my car where I needed to bust out a window. Um, but supposedly, if I ever am, it'll do the job. Um, when it's When the pen is retracted, there's a little line right there telling you when to stop unscrewing. Uh, once it goes past that line, you'll see the pin start coming out, the, the ball, the point. And when you retract it, you know when you're at that line, um, it's not gonna not gonna write on you. Um, very 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 sturdy pocket clip. And what I have in it right now is um, a a Pilot G2 Burgundy refill. Um, and you can, you can, one good thing about this pen, you can adjust it, um, for whatever refills you want. You can, if, if you get tired of the gel ink and want to go to a ballpoint, no need to buy a new pen, just put in a new refill. And, um, and you can do that. Um, take out that, and there's a screw down in there, and that screw height adjusts to the, um, you can adjust it to however big the refill is. So, you know, some pens are only limited to one refill that they can use. Um, that's not the case with um, with this pen. And so, oh me, sorry. Um, there's a video about this this item as well, where I go into some more detail. Um, this is uh, what I put on my belt. It's a simple clip. Um, you can either slide your belt through, or you can unvelcro it if you already have your belt on. I usually just leave it velcroed and slide it through. Put it on my right side, and I can just reach down under the clip. It was black at one time. You can see how it's it's worn away, um, but it's I mean it's heavy duty. It, it's lasted, and the the nylon actually has held up well. Also, this is a night eyes, uh, what they call an S beaner or biner. It's a BS beaner. Um, this one I leave open. Um, you know, if I want to just clip it that way or clip it on my backpack or something else. This one I leave locked where it won't open up so my keys don't fall out. If you want to lock it, you just slide that little tab down and it's locked. If you want to unlock it, you just move it and it'll it'll open up. So that, that does the job well. And then last but not least, the Surefire. Now, what this is, this is what you would call a Lego. Out of my, my Surefire buying and selling and trading and eBaying, finally settled on a light that, you know, Surefire doesn't make. If they did make it, you know, this would be the design, so I made it myself. Um, see, it's got a little wear mark right there where I put it in the same um, pocket as one of my pocket knives, or, or as my only pocket knife. And the way it was resting, um, that just, you know, I, I pulled it out one day and I was like, well, how'd that happen? And it ended up being from that. Excuse me. <clears throat> um, so what this is, this is a E1DL head with a Defender head, 300 lumens on high five lumens on low, and this came on a different body. Now this body had an EB1 head on it that did not have the self-defense uh, crenulations. It had the smooth, um, more um, discreet, you know, smoother head on it. And also that head was 200 lumens on high, whereas this one is 300 lumens. Both had the same five lumens on low, 
but this one has the extra 100 lumens on high. Now, the original, or I say original, the what this was on, the E1DL Defender, it was on a body that had a click switch, meaning you click it one time for high, yeah, you click it on high, and then you release and you click it again for low. And I didn't like that. I like the option of being able to get to high if I need it, but I don't want to blind myself at nighttime trying to get to the low mode, which they had programmed to come on second. So what did I do? I took an E1DL head, put it on an EB1T body, and what I end up with is something that Surefire should have made a long time ago, in my opinion, humble opinion, an E1DLT. Or you could call it an EB1D. Now, obviously, they're not going to sell that, and you're not going to find anything searching that. But what we have is an E1DL head, an EB1T body, the backup body, which is the same size as a Defender 1 cell body, but with the two stage tactical tail cap and the crenulated bezel. That here, and here, here's why I like my setup so much and why they didn't design, you know, something to do this. I don't know because I'm, I'm sure other people would like it. If I want to get to low, all I do, take it out, lightly press it, there's the low. If I want to get to high, hard press, there's the high. If I want constant low, there it is. If I want constant high, there it is. If I want constant low, but the option to get straight to high, there it is. Um, this really is, this, this setup is the best of both worlds in a one cell surefire light with a two stage tactical tail cap with the self-defense bezel. I'm sure a lot of people never really know, unless they try this setup themselves, that the E1DL head, head, E1DL head was programmed to work with a two-stage tactical tail cap because Surefire doesn't advertise that. All they advertise this is is a click um, made to go on a clicky body, click one time for high, all phone within two seconds to get to low and you know some people like that setup for a um, tactical uh, military police setup but your average civilian doesn't need that what they need is a light that comes on on low first but can also get to high if they need that option so um th th this right here this right here when i put that head on that body and realized that this head somebody programmed it to work with that tail cap boy I, it, it was amazing it was amazing and so that um has stood stood the test of time i've sold all my flashlights except for this one and um and this one this one's going to be a keeper so um there you have it uh surefire um let's let's give it the tony fied name surefire eb one t d or we could call it an E1DLT for the Tacticals two-stage tail cap. And those of you familiar with the Surefire numbering, you probably understood that. Cambridge Pocket New Testament and Psalms, King James Version. Uh, sadly, out of print. Um, Benchmade Griptilian, full size, with a serrated edge. Maxpedition Micro Front Pocket Wallet. Surefire First Generation Pen. They they make um they spend several new ones come out since this one. The, the one now they have now is called Surefire Pen 4. Um, but I like number one the best, mainly because you can use it with any refill. The others are limited to what refills they can use. And the Maxpedition uh I can't remember the exact name for this product, but it's a, a key keeper, key clip, something along those lines. So there you have it, a 2016 EDC update. If you have any questions about um, about that, you know, be sure to put them in the comments. Let me know. If you'd like to share your EDC update with the, the viewers, um, you can put that in the comments as well. 
If uh, you have time, I hope you take some time to check out the other videos that I have. Gospel sermons, Bible preaching sermons, um, some Bible reviews as far as, you know, if you if you never realized there was a world of nice Bibles that last a lifetime, check out my Bible review videos. If you like flashlights, I can't answer any questions now um, that I haven't answered before because I don't have all those flashlights anymore, but I'll do my best from memory to help you if you have any questions about those. Um, and anything else you see, uh, just let me know what you think, and I'll be glad to get back with you. Um, check out the website, PreacherTony.com. If you'd like to email me, that is Tony at PreacherTony.com. And can, you can find me on social media as well. All those links are there at the bottom page on PreacherTony.com. Take care.